Hello and welcome to Trading 5 Talents. In this video, I want to go over a um, temporary solution to a problem um, that uh, people have been discussing on Option Alpha, at least a discussion that I've been following on Option Alpha. And what that is, is trying to export the trade data from Option Alpha into your own you know, spreadsheet or trade log or trade journal, whatever you call it, but basically trying to get all that trade data off of Option Alpha um, even though there's no formal export option or feature um, quite yet. So for example, if, if we look at this bot right here, this is a paper trading bot. Um, this is one that I've talked about many times before, and this is my free range um, iron fly bot. So if we go over here, you can see there are 68 closed positions. And let's say I want to put this into my own spreadsheet or my own trade log and, uh, and, and you know, do my own analysis on it or at least keep track um, trade by trade and that way I can compare it with you know, other bots. Um, or if it's a live account and you want to import all those trades into your trade log. Um, since there is no formal feature yet um, in order to do that, there have been some suggestions of how um, people are exporting it. Um, I'm not a coder, but this is a solution that I, I did find that seems to work for now. And so uh, I'll, I'll go through all of those steps uh, with you in this video, but if you don't have a trade log of your own, um, I have two versions of a trade log. The first version is this free trade log, and the link is down in the description, but basically you can enter in all of your trades right here, and then you have a uh, simple dashboard uh, that you can um, use to chart your progress throughout the year. The second version is my premium trade log, and that has the exact same trade log setup or trade log tab as the free version, but this one has a premium dashboard, and you can see that right here. You have a lot more stats, um, and it just keeps track of a lot more data uh, with all of your trades. So this link is also down in the description. This one's the premium version, so it's a link to an Etsy store. The other one's free. It's just a link to the Google Sheet. So let's say you have a trade log, and you want to import all of that option alpha data, all of those trades into your trade log. So how can we do that? So the first step is to just choose the bot that you want to export all of your data from, and then just go to the positions tab up here on the top. And we're going to be exporting all of these um, closed positions right here. Now you can probably use the same technique for the open positions, but I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to go through the closed ones right now. All right, so you're on your positions page. And then what you want to do is, before we go any further, I just want to say that this export um, solution uh, or temporary solution only, as far as I know, works with Chrome browsers, both on Mac and also on um, uh, Windows computers. So I'm using a Mac now, but I've also tested it on Windows and it seems to work fine. You're going to open up your Option Alpha Bot positions tab in a Chrome browser and then go to the Chrome um, Web Extension Store. So I'm just going to click on here and then go to extensions and then the Chrome Web Store. And what we're going to look for is just the web scraper and this one right here. This web scraper, I'm going to add it to Chrome, add the extension. Okay, so it's added and I'm just using the free version. I'm not purchasing anything right here. All right, now we're going to go back over here to our Option Alpha positions page for the bot that we want to export the trades from. Um, click over here into the menu. Then under More Tools, click on Developer Tools. And then you're going to want to choose the Web Scraper, except you're going to, you probably will get this, um, this notification. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that the, uh, the Developer Tools is going to be at the bottom of your page. So click on this menu right here, and this is the one right here, the dock to bottom. So we click on that, and then we have our Web Scraper right here. So we can just click on the what's new. We can close that console as well. All right, so this is what you should uh, be seeing. So once you have the doc down at the bottom, uh, now we can start. And we're going to start by creating a new site map. So click on Create New Site Map, Create Site Map, give it a name. What I'm going to do is just call it the... Uh, just call it the name of the bot for me. And then the URL is this one right up here. So right click, copy, or just Command-C, Control-C, and then Command or Control-V, just so you paste the URL. Um, right there. So that's why you want to be on the positions page of the bot that you're trying to export. So create sitemap, um, just like that. And then uh, let me go to full screen and then you can um, see a little bit better. Okay, so here we are uh, with our sitemap. And the first thing we want to do is we want to add a new selector. However, um, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, allow the scraper to collect all of the data on this closed position page. Um, again, you can 
you can do something similar with the open positions. I'm just showing the closed positions. Um, what it's not going to show, however, is it's not going to show all the data from this pop-up right now. Um, I'm just concerned with the data that is in each of these rows. So if you have a bot that's been running for a while, um, you'll see as you scroll down, it's going to say load more and you click on it and then more load, you go down to the bottom and it says load more. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to keep on clicking until it ends. We can actually just build that um, function right into this web scraper. All right, so I'm going to add a new selector after I've created my sitemap. And what I'm going to do uh, here is just call it all trades. And we want the element click. So click on the element click under the type, and then we're going to um, select the selector. So we select this. And then what I want to do is I want to highlight this entire row. So you just hover your cursor until you get the whole row. I'm going to click on it, go to the next row and click on it. And when I do, the rest of them um, get highlighted or get selected. So I'm done selecting. Click the green button here. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to select the click selector. So when I select this, I come back up here to the top part of the page go down and I click on the load more button. That's the one that I'm selecting. So I click on that, click done selecting. All right, now what am I going to do with this? Am I just gonna click it once? No, I wanna click more until there are no more elements that are being loaded. So select, click more. Leave this as unique text, leave this as multiple, leave this as never discard. My delay, I'm just gonna do 500 milliseconds, that should be enough, and then come down here and save selector. All right. Now, once we're once we've created this selector, what I want to do is I want to click on that selector and then I'm going to add selectors within this one. All right? So I'm going to scroll back up here to the top under the closed positions and add my selector and the first thing that I want to get or the first uh, piece of data that I want to get is the um, symbol. All right? So symbol type is text, selector select click that symbol, you can hover over and you can see this yellow box um, highlighting that symbol. So I click on that, click done selecting, save. Next is going to be for me is the type. So the trade type, still text is fine. Do your selector, click on the trade type like that and done selecting. And now if you want to make sure that you've selected the correct thing, um, save this right here, come over here to the data preview. So what I'm doing in this first line is I should only see the symbols. So I click on data preview and indeed I only see symbols. All right, click on data preview for the type and I should only see iron butterfly and that's exactly what I see right there. All right, so I'm gonna speed up this next part of the video and I'm just gonna be adding selectors for the expirations, the strikes, the um, uh, um, close dates, the quantity, the premium, the risk, and the days in trade. All right, the last one is the days in trade. So add new selector. I'm just going to say DIT select. Now, when I do the days in trade, I don't want this um, big yellow box right here. I don't want the 7D. I just want the number seven. So I'm going to click on that. So click on done selecting first and then data preview. If you want to see, it should just be the number seven right here. And, and that's what we see. All right. We don't want the D in there. Um, and then also if you saw in this part, Again, you don't want this huge box right here. You just want the, the bare minimum um, uh, selector or whatever container it is just to get that particular number. Okay, save selector. And so now we have them all right here. And if we click on data preview right here, we should see for one particular element, we have the symbol type expiration strikes, close date, wow. quantity, premium, risk, and days in trade. All right, perfect. Now, if we come back to the root of this uh, web scraper, if we look at data preview now, we should be able to see all of the trades through all of the rows every time you click on load more. So we click on data preview. All right, and so we can see them all down here. Um, yeah, so it looks good. All right, so click off of there. And then what we wanna do is click on this site map and then the name of your um, site map. And then we want to scrape, start scraping. It opens up a pop-up window as it scrapes. 
Okay, and I think it's done. So click on that um, drop down menu again, and then we want to export the data. And I'm just going to click uh, CSV and it downloads. And if we open, I'm going to open this up in um, Google Sheets. Okay, so I'm just going to go to File, Open. I'm going to Upload and then just drop the file here. All right, and here we go. We have all of our data right here. So the next part of this process is just sort of cleaning up the data um, so you can um, enter it into whatever trade log that you're gonna be using. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these two columns right here because I don't need that. And so we just have our symbols, types, expiration, strikes, close date, quantity, premium risk, and days in trade. All right, the symbol's fine, type is fine, expiration is fine, strikes. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with those right now. Uh, you can separate that out later if you want to. You can keep it as is. It's up to you. But for now, um, my main concern is the close date formatting um, and then the days in trade. Um, I'm not really going to use the days in trade because I'm actually more interested in the open date than I am in the days in trade. So first of all, let's do this close date. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a column to the right. And what I want to do is I want to create a formula that is going to remove that first dash and then the space between the, um, the first letter of the month. So uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, equals right, R-I-G-H-T, because I want to take everything in the cell from the right, starting at the right hand side, what is the string that I'm using or I'm wanting to uh, manipulate? It's going to be this, this one right here. So it's going to be E2, right? And then what number of characters am I gonna get starting at the right? Well, first of all, I need to figure out the length of E2. So it's gonna you know, figure out how many characters are in E2, and then I wanna remove two of them, just like that. And you can see the preview is just going to be June 28th, close parentheses, click enter, autofill everything. And so now I've removed everything. But you can see up here in the formula bar, these are all formulas. So what I, what I want to do is I want to copy this. I want to go over here and I just want to paste the values only, just like that. All right. And then I can delete this column like that. Then I can set this as a date just like that. And so now we have all the dates in the proper format. So what would have happened if I didn't do all that? Well, let's go back here like this. All right. So let's say you have all this and you say, oh, it looks good. Um, let's just format it. Formatting doesn't work. Well, let's just delete column E because we don't need that anymore. Well, now you get all these errors because these are all formulas. So we don't want to do that. We want to first copy this. We're going to overwrite this column, but we only want the values. We don't want the formulas, just the values. And then we can come back, we can format it to what we want, and then we can delete this column because we no longer need it. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna figure out what the open date was. So let's go back here and rename this as close date, and then come over here and make this open date. And this is simply the close date minus the days in trade. That's when it was opened. Autofill it, just like that. Again, these are all formulas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the column, right click, copy it, right click, paste special, and then we only want the values. So now all of these are values, right? And that's exactly when the trade was opened. So if the, if the DIT was zero, that means it opened that day and you were only in the trade for that day. So 628 minus zero would still be 628. So now we don't need the DIT, at least I'm not going to use it for my purposes. You can keep it if you want, but I just delete the column. And now we have all of the data from our free range bot in my case, um, in their proper columns and in a format that you can now use to import into whatever trade log that you want to. So once again, I have a free trade log and I also have a premium version of the trade log. Those links are both down in the description. Um, everything I'm using on here, this web scraper on Chrome, uh, using the Chrome extension is absolutely free. So you can do this for free. Um, just it, you, I think you have to use Chrome. I don't know if it's available with any other browser. But in any case, um, I hope this helps. I hope it uh, does help um, some of the problem that uh, uh, us traders on Option Alpha have been experiencing uh, until 
uh, Option Alpha actually has a formal export feature, um, which uh, would be probably so much better and so much easier than this method. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. Or you can catch me over on Option Alpha uh, under Trading 5 Talents, and I'll be able to help you there as well. In the meantime, trade wisely and take care.